Hey, I want to take a moment today to address a question I've gotten a lot, mainly because people have taken things I've said in the past, uh, taken it the wrong way, and they think that I'm against either being popular or making money, which I'm not against either one. Uh, you know, I like making money, uh, as you can tell by looking at me. I like to eat, and as you can tell by the way that I dress like a fashionable homeless person every day, I'm used to the nice things, so I like to be able to afford them. So I don't have any problem with making money. I don't have any problem with being popular. And because people think I do have a problem with these two things, they keep asking me, well, what do you think of channels like uh, Demolition Ranch, etc., that don't get political? They don't support the Second Amendment in their videos. And a lot of people think I'm against them because I think everyone needs to be an activist. Well, I don't think everyone needs to be an activist. In fact, I think some people aren't count cut out to be activists. I think there's nothing wrong with being just a gun channel. Now, I'm not a gun channel. A lot of people think that I am a gun channel, but I'm really not. I, I'm a Second Amendment channel. I'm a First Amendment channel. I'm actually just someone who is a strong believer in the First and Second Amendment, who has a YouTube channel. And because I'm such a gun lover, I tie guns to those two things. But my channel is not really a gun channel. I've said that lots of times. Some channels are gun channels, like Gun Blast. That's a gun channel. So, do I care if he's political? No, I don't. Do I care if he's popular? No, that's fine. I hope they are popular. The more popular gun channels there are, the more awareness gets out there, and the more people have favorable, opinion, uh, favorable opinions of guns. So, I don't want everyone to be an activist. I don't think everyone even should be an activist. And I'm okay with people that just either want to make money or want to be popular or just want to play with guns on YouTube. Okay with all of those things. Uh, now, I do have some problems with the blow them up channels, you know, the ones that blow shit up all the time, because mainly two things. One, I don't like it when people engage in dangerous behavior with a firearm, and I think it looks bad on all of us, but there are TV shows like Jackass that engage in be uh, dangerous behavior all the time. Uh, I would hope that people that are out here in the real world are smart enough to not do the stuff we see on TV or the internet. I just hope people are that smart. There's a little personal responsibility there. So even though I might not like the fact that people do dangerous stuff, I'm not going to interfere with their ability to do whatever they want. It's like me saying, you can't rock climb because it's dangerous. Rock climb if you want to. I ain't freaking doing it, but you do it all you want. <clears throat> the other real problem I have with channels like that, though, not a real problem, but a problem where I, why I personally don't like them, is to me it just looks like waste. When someone says, we're going to shoot through a brand new iPhone X, or we're going to blow up a brand new this, I'm like, well, we shouldn't you just donate those to someone who needs them? Or we're going to break this gun. Now, there's lots of people out there that need guns. I personally get, try to give away at least four or five guns a month to people who need guns. Uh, I do that through my channel, through my Patreon. So, you know, so I have a problem with those channels that way. Not a, not a problem with them existing, just I personally am not interested because I spend the whole time going, Oh, I'd rather have given that iPhone X donated it to a charity. They can either auction it off or give it to someone who needs one. So I don't have a problem with channels that are just there to be popular or just there to make money. The only time I start to have a problem with these channels is when they don't stay in their lane or when they start doing things that are contrary to the First Amendment or the Second Amendment. Like when channels use their popularity, where people see them as, hey, this is a big gun guy on YouTube, and they think that this is someone who cares about their Second Amendment rights, and then they do things like, Bud's Gun Shop's a great shop, or join the NRA, it's the best choice we got. No, that's crap. And you're doing that for a paycheck. I don't care about people making a paycheck, but when you take that paycheck to do things contrary to the health and well-being of the Second Amendment, then I have a problem with you and we're going to have words. And I got no problems having words with you no matter how big your channel is or how popular you are. Now, a lot of people think you just do that to get popular because you get views and stuff. Views don't mean anything. And here's the thing. Every time I go after a channel that's bigger than me, I lose subs. My channel gets smaller. Uh, so I'm not really gaining anything. And that doesn't bother me because I'm not here to be popular. Some channels are, I'm not. So that's when I have a real problem with somebody that is supposedly Second Amendment friendly when they are actually acting contrary to uh, the, the, you know, the betterment of the Second Amendment. Uh, or like companies like Springfield Armory that did things legally that are totally against the Second Amendment, that are totally working for their own monetary best interest while hurting other Second Amendment organizations and businesses. Those people I'll never do business with again. Same thing with the NRA, a group that gives away rights just so that they can fundraise. 
and orchestrates these battles so that they can fundraise off of them. They do more harm than good. Anyone who wants to defend the NRA, I suggest you do some uh, research into their history before you actually start, because if you start, you're going to look like a fool. Anybody can tear your argument down. So, like I said, don't have a problem with these channels that want to be popular or want to make money. But when they step out of their lane and they start saying, I'm just as important for the Second Amendment as someone like Tim from Military Arms Channel, or I do just as much as they do, and if they don't like the NRA, screw them, I like the NRA. Fuck you, you can suck my dick. Because if you're one of those channels that's either selling out to the NRA or just not involving in politics, period, you don't get to slander people that are. And your opinion doesn't contra con uh, contradict their opinion when your opinion is not informed in fact. So when I see, like if I saw what, like if Gun Blast came on and started saying, I'm just as big a proponent of the Second Amendment and I do just as much for freedom as anyone, I'd be like, mm, get back in your lane, buddy. You're a presentation channel, you're a gun channel. Uh, military Arms Channel, that's an activist channel. And other channels even beyond that are even more activist channels. But some channels are just there to make money, just to be popular, just to play with guns even, and just share their joint hobby. And that's okay. And I'm fine with it. I don't have any problem with any of them as long as they stay in their lane and as long as they don't do something to hurt your rights or my rights.